five years on, we've had a fairly widespread acceptance of the scaling up framework. Uh, I think there's a, a lot of recognition that scaling up really needs serious attention beyond just resource allocation and clearly the framework has had a lot to do with it. Having worked as a public health practitioner in India for several years now, I think the whole, the work with scaling up over the last five years really sort of uh, enabled my understanding and a rich learning of how you can look at small community based pilots that work so closely with people and try and take it to scale to large scale systems where they can affect a large number of people without losing some of the values that go with community based interventions and preserving those values at scale and, and, and that is a challenge that I try to grapple with but I think I have been instrumental in moving this agenda forward at least a little way. First of all, we were able to disseminate the framework very widely and so we caught the attention of not just NGOs and donors, of course they were important, an important constituency, but we also got the attention of the government, uh, which in India given its, um, it, given its own internal capacity, uh, it was a, it's, I, I think it was a significant achievement. Um, at the end of the, our third phase, which was around 2009, we had, um, 2010 really, we had this national dissemination workshop organized by PFI, but in which MSI played a major role, which was to disseminate the findings of our work and our lessons learned over the last four years to a large national audience. And uh, both days of the workshop were attended by senior members of the planning commission. And at the end of this workshop, MSI actually had the opportunity to facilitate a half day workshop of senior members of the planning commission and senior bureaucracy from several social sector departments. So that in itself is an achievement and more recently, we have been asked to submit a note to the planning commission on scaling up. Um, this is in preparation for a later discussion on scaling up as India moves towards its 12th five year plan. Um, the search home based newborn care model which is really the one with which we walked all three steps of the scaling up framework is now being implemented through 800, 835,000 health workers across the country. Um, these are called ASHAs, they are female community health workers. Of course, this did not happen all at once. Um, it needed advocacy, it needed simplification of the model and a constant um, a watch on what might be some opportunities and challenges in order to push the scaling up agenda forward. Uh, we also enabled the expansion of a public private partnership model that uh, was strengthening government run primary health care centers and moved from 25 primary health care, health care centers in one state to 100 in several other states. Um, we also supported the development of manuals, checklists, protocols and in a sense trying to standardize processes in order to enable scaling up and this is really a very important part of scaling up. It is not a talked about too much talked about part of scaling up because it is not as glamorous but it is certainly very important for standardization and standardization is key to scaling up. So from where we started which was a relatively narrowly defined portfolio which was to work with a few NGOs on issues of maternal mortality and adolescent reproductive and sexual health, we really moved quite far both in terms of partnerships with a range of organizations and in range of thematic areas that we covered. It's, I think it is important to study carefully the various ways in which scaling up occurs in different contexts and with different partners. Uh, what factors can be identified that facilitate and constrain this, especially when you look towards the environment that is looking at the public sector systems being the node for scaling up. Because really in a country like India, if you want to scale up, the government is really the only effective way because uh, they have the reach, they have the resources and the potential to reach the marginalized and the vulnerable. So when we, it's, it's important for us to stu study this not just in the Indian context, but I think offering lessons globally as well as there is pressure on public sector systems, as there is pressure for universal coverage, not just for health, but other social services.